Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to uninstall your print and post app on your Windows 10. So first of all you need to make sure you're on Windows 10. So you come here at the bottom left and you press on start. Then you go down and you press on this PC. Once you've done that, you come here at the top and you press on system properties. So this will show you what type of windows you have here you can see i'm using windows 10 so the next thing you need to check is if you are using the administrators account because you need to be the administrators if you want to uninstall a program so you go here at the top and you press on home and then you go down and you go on oops yeah, you go down and you go on accounts. And here you have your info, so you can check. I'm the administrator, so I can start uninstalling my program. So I close everything, and now go to your print and post app, and you make sure you're logged out. So here I'm logged out, so it's good. I can close it and start uninstalling. So I'll go back in my start button and that. Uh, bottom left and I go on my settings right here then you go down and you press on apps so here you have all your apps and in order to find yours pretty easily you just go here on the search bar and you press print and you type print and post so here you can see I found my app so I just go here and press on uninstall yes uh -huh, yes and then if they ask you if you're sure, you just press yes. So now they tell you some elements could not be removed, but don't worry, you're gonna remove them manually. So you just press OK. You come here on the tray and you go to your app and you right click on it and you press well, right click on it and you press exit. So this will rem remove it from the tray and now the last thing you have to do is go back here and go down and click on this PC again once you've done that you go here to your local hard drive and you press on users you go to your user account and you find the print and post uh, file then you right click on it and you press delete so now that you've done all that you're good to go all you need to do is restart your computer and that's it